This channel is designed for adults viewing only and certain videos will contain rated M for mature video games, featuring realistic violence, gore and suggestive themes. If you are not an adult, do not view the content on this channel. Sit back and relax. It's time to take a wild trip to the past. Get ready for another exciting episode of Memory Lane. That PlayStation controller can only mean one thing. Where are you playing that PlayStation 2? And uh, today's episode of Mermaid Lane. Let's see if we can focus this here a little bit. We're going to be playing uh, Spy Hunter for the PS2, as you can see here. Uh, this game came out, I believe, in like 2001. And you can see the large looking vehicle right there on the uh, disc. The same as the cover. You have the Spy Hunter logo right there on the top, the PS2 logo on the bottom. Uh, it's made, made by Midway, so i uh, never actually played this before, but I always wanted to play this. Always, I, I owned a GameCube back in the day. Still own a GameCube. I uh, always wanted to pick this up for the GameCube, but never got a chance. So uh, let's uh, try this out for the first time ever on the PS2. And let's uh, play some Spy Hunter. And uh, today we're going to be playing Spy Hunter for the PS2, as you can see here, once we get past the loading screen. We have the uh, Midway Games little intro over right here. And we have whatever that is right there. Par Paradigm Entertainment. And then we have the Spy Hunter introduction right here. Let's see if we can... Uh, Let's bypass that. Let's go into the actual game and let's play some Spy Hunter. Now, believe it or not, this is one game that I actually never got a chance to play, and I always, always want to own this game. I always want to play it. Alright, let's uh, see if we can enter a name in right here. Okay, we're auto saving on the memory card. Alright, let's see if we can uh, start the game after. We got that crazy music. It almost sounds like a James Bond style music. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn the. Uh, the music down a little bit here. Yeah, just like that. Let's make sure that the uh, I can see that the audio seems a little uneven. So I just want to make sure that everything is plugged in properly back here. This is a uh, number. What is this? Number 
Now we're about to start the game in a second. All right, mission one, test track license. And you see that mission two is still locked. Let's uh, try this out. So primary mission is to shoot all targets. And of course, you have secondary objectives also right there, as you can see. And yeah, I actually never uh, played this before. This is going to be interesting. Let's uh, try this out. I've always thought this game actually looks pretty cool. I'm just never actually... Uh, Got a chance to actually play it. So let's uh, find out how cool it is. Got the loading screen right here. Taking quite a long time. Alright, let's see if we can uh, start the game. Begin operation. Alright, here we are. Let's see if we can uh, figure this out. And yeah, the driving on this so far seems pretty pretty good. Oh oh! I hit a cone. All right, that was pretty cool. And I'm using uh, the the regular standard PS2 controller. Oh, that is insane. It's great to be able to play this for the first time on video. I've actually never played this before. Get out of my way. Alright, this is crazy. How do you shoot those? Alright, get up. So, there, there's a lot of things you have to do in here. This is nuts. Let's see if we're going to go over here. We got the targets. We have to hit this target over here so we can do it. Alright, I think we might be doing pretty good. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. What is happening here? Now we, we basically turned into a boat. I mean, look at this. This is cool. This game is something I, I had a GameCube back in the day, and I always, always wanted to pick this up for the GameCube. I just never uh, got a chance to actually pick the game up. I always wanted to, you know, I, I owned uh, Burnout 1 and 2 on the GameCube, but this game was always on my radar. I just never, never got a chance to actually uh, buy this game. But now that I'm playing it for the first time here on the PS2, this is pretty cool. Alright, let's go here. Let's see if we can. Let's see what we have here. We have another. Oh, so if you double tap the acceleration, you can do turbo. That is pretty cool. Alright. We got these cardboard looking boats. I have to try not to bump into them or you fail. Yeah, that's awesome. And now we're back to being a vehicle. That is crazy. How crazy is that? Alright. Now what is happening? Oh my god, we're a motorcycle. Holy crap. Oh, 
Oh, what is that? Now we now we're a car again. Oh, holy crap! This is crazy. It's just the uh, this an organic response to this game. Like this is my organic reaction. Is what I'm trying to tell you. This is I never actually played this before, and I wish I played this back in the day. So far, this is pretty awesome. And then we have a cutscene right here. Now that was uh, pretty fun. That was I don't know if I did good or bad or what. Let me see if I can. And the audio down on this computer, this always happens. Alright, so we, uh... It looks like we, uh... Did a couple of uh, missions properly, so we got the, uh... The primary objective was done properly, and one of the secondary objectives. And now we're gonna save to the memory card. That was a blast. That was pretty cool. Alright, so we're saving to the memory card. The memory card will take probably a little while to save. And then we have another uh, cutscene right here related to the actual storyline of the game. And uh, let's go to the next level. That was actually pretty fun. I felt like that, that opening training level was uh, highly, highly enjoyable. Okay, so this is level one. Not enough objective points. Okay, so two objectives. Okay, so I'm guessing that you have to complete four in order to actually get over here. So that makes sense. So basically we have to do this one again. We have to try to complete all these objectives right here. What the hell, we'll play it again. This is our second run through on this level. And uh, this opening level is actually pretty fun. Double tap X to do turbo. L1 cycles through offensive weapons. Uh, R1 fires uh, circle button. This GPS tracking, okay. So that gives you a whole rundown on how to play that, for the most part. Alright, let's give this a try again. Begin operation. Yeah, let's go. And right away we have, um... Let's see here. We got these cones right here. We can't hit these cones. Let's see if we can make it through. I think if we make it through without hitting any cones, we'll be in pretty good shape. Alright, we got that one, we got that one right there, and then we got this one. Whoa, all these explosions are going off. Oh, what was that all about? I, I hit a cone. Was there like a way for me to jump over there or something? Something I completely did not know about. Let me see if I can go around this car here. Alright, we have something else down here that we're supposed to hit. Let's find out. Alright, let's go in here. And what do we have next? No, I think I hit that car. Okay, right, let's go over here. So if this is your first time playing this game, it's it's not the easiest to actually uh, get all the um, the objectives completed right away. 
Alright, let's go over here. Just gotta take your time doing this. I think I can probably complete this objective. Go back. Oh my god. Alright, we got that one. Alright. Yeah, there's one over here I completely missed. Three gates left, okay. Alright, so we completed a couple of objectives right there. I think that's enough to get us to the next level. Right, let's see if we can get that. Alright, let's see if we can get this one. Oh, what is that? I shot like a missile. I completed uh, another objective, apparently. Let's see if we, uh, what, what is this? Are we supposed to be shooting this, or...? What the...? Okay, so that objective I failed. I don't know 100% what I'm supposed to be doing there. Alright, let's go here. turn into the the, uh, the mortar. This is so cool. Man, I wish I had this back in the day. This... Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. That is awesome. Alright. So apparently we can cycle through weapons by hitting L1, I guess. I guess that might be the only thing that we actually have. Whoa, what is that? Alright, let's find out what I, uh... Hopefully I got four. And we can move on to the next level. Yeah, it looks like we did it. I'm not exactly sure why, uh... Seems like the PS4 locks up a little bit, uh, not the PS4, the PS2 locks up a little bit right there. And the PS2 is about 20 years old. This is a slim model. Alright, let's see what we have here. I have the steering wheel in the closet. I wonder how this plays on the steering wheel. That'd be really crazy. And here we go, we got the, uh, Destroy Dragonfly Helicopter. Destroy Transport Trucks, which is five of them, and uh, activate all uh, SATCOMs and uh, minimize civilian casualties. Okay, let's try this out. So R2, you can fire an, a defensive weapon, which I pushed it a second ago and I, I, it looks like a whole bunch of uh, oil came out or something. Some weird black smoke looking stuff. Okay, we've got the loading screen. Let's see if we can get past this. And when you're playing a classic old console, loading screens were normal. You just gotta be patient and wait. And here we go. We gotta destroy those trucks and that helicopter. Mission route plotted. All right, which way to to the exit? Look at that, we can just shoot the, the actual 
Garage door open. Ain't that something? That's crazy. So I'm guessing that we're going in this direction right here. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Oh my god! Oh, look at this! This is crazy. That is insane! Look at that! All right, let's uh go over here. Whoa! Look at this! Yeah, that's one truck I think that I had this destroyed right there. Alright, we got one of those things right there taken care of. What we got? Oh, they've got another one of these guys right here. Alright. How do you go in reverse? Alright, let's turn around here and see if we can go this way. I'm guessing we're supposed to go that direction. And we have a roundabout right here. We got turbo! And that's another truck that we're supposed to blow up. And let's see if we can keep driving in this direction without hurting anybody. And we got the, uh, whatever that is right there. Whoa, what, what the hell is that? That car just rammed right into me. This, this is insane. Now these guys right here. Alright, uh, let's see if we can make it through without hurting anybody here. Let's find out. What the hell is this guy's for? That must be an enemy. Yeah, I made it into the the, uh, the weapons van. Alright, let's see what kind of crazy shit we have here. Let's find out. Alright, let's... uh. Oh, oh no, that's the wrong direction. We're supposed to go this way. I can definitely play these levels over and over again. This is actually pretty cool. And we have motorcycles all over the place. Oh my god! That was crazy! Alright, let's uh... That's not what I want to do. Alright. We're going in this direction. I have no idea if this is where we want to go or not, but let's find out. Oh look, there's another truck right here. One truck left. Alright, let's find out where this other truck is. And there it is, it's right there. There's, there was a truck that had a hot dog on top of it. This is Oktoberfest. We're driving through a uh, Oktoberfest right here. It looks like a... Some sort of uh, festival going on. Right now, where are we supposed to go? Alright, we drove right up into that van and that car tried to cut me off. And we have a cutscene. You know, so far this is pretty fun. Spy Hunter, I actually enjoy this game. So far it's pretty good. And we have a loading screen. Hopefully, uh, here we go. Yeah, we almost completed all the objectives for the exception of one. And now we're going to save it to the memory card here. 
And I must say that was a lot more fun than what I realized. If I knew that game was this fun, I would definitely would have buy, bought this game like 19, 18 years ago, whenever this game came out. Almost 20 years ago. And there is a third level over here. Let's, uh, let's check this out real quick. We'll just give it a quick uh, try. We got the loading screen right there. Let's see if we can get this thing to load up and we'll try this out before we uh, call it a wrap. So far, I definitely highly enjoyed this game. So if you have a GameCube or PS2 or if it's on Xbox, I would definitely pick this up. This is definitely worth it. There's also a 3DS version of uh, Spy Hunter also, which uh, I, I was definitely curious to try out. Look at the cool graphics. You can see the reflection in the water. Look at that. Get out of my way. Let's just destroy everything. Who cares? Look at this. Now, there, are, there is a classic Spy Hunter game on the NES and in the arcade from back in the day. What are we supposed to do with that boat? Are we supposed to destroy it? Oh my god, what is happening here? Did you see the, the satellite? The truck just flipping around like that? That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm on the water in a motorcycle. What is happening here? How's that even possible? Oh my god, look at this. There is a literally a target over here somewhere. This level I'll probably have to go back and play, but I'm just going through it real quick. Just to show you guys. Oh yeah, you can squish weapons. How about that? Get out of my way, boat. Now, the, the graphics actually look quite nice on this level. I like the, uh, the water effects. You know, for like a, a near 20 year old game, it actually looks pretty good. What, what, what's up here? Oh, I, I wanted to go up there. Oh, I, I blew up a civilian boat. That's horrible. This reminds me of certain levels on um, 007 Nightfire. We're driving the car. So that's a little sample of Spy Hunter on the PS2. Definitely gets an A+. Plus, gets a thumbs up. I definitely want to enjoy playing this game. Very, very fun. And I will definitely continue playing it. So stay tuned for the next episode of Memory Lane. And if you want to see more PlayStation episodes, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And comment down below and let me know what you think.